Hello, everybody. This is Yoko's Band of Anime Reactions, and uh, this is going to be my review for My Hero Academia Season 4, Episode 7. Uh, not a whole lot happens in this episode, other than, you know, Deku starting to have a bit of a... I, would, I don't know what I would call it, to be completely honest. A bit of a... I don't know if I'd call it a mental breakdown, but... He essentially is so worried about Eri and all this stuff going on with the work study that it's kind of affecting him. And Ida and Todoroki are really worried about him. And they even off, you know, offer to let him talk about it. it. They'll essentially be his ear to talk to if he needs to, even though he can't, obviously, but they don't know that. And to help him feel better when he started crying about all this, uh, they offered some of his food to him. Or some of their food to him, which was really sweet. I love Ida and Togoroki at this point. They are awesome. <coughs> they're good friends. And thankfully, they're good enough friends that they respected that he couldn't obviously talk about it because he wasn't really mentioning what was upsetting him because I'm sure if he could talk about it, he would tell them. But since he wasn't talking about it, they assumed that it was something he couldn't mention, so they respected his wishes and didn't press further about it. Which is good. They didn't obviously mention that, but I assume that's what happened. And if so, if I'm right, then yay. But anyway, uh, let's see. But yeah, everybody is obviously worried about this whole thing. Togata even is looking less smiley and happy than he usually does, and that's even worrying. Tamaki and what was the other girl's the girl's name? I can't remember. It's worrying them. So it's not only affecting Deku; it's affecting Togata as well, and. Night Eye actually ends up finding one of the guys that's working with Overhaul. And after, you know, having to eliminate a bunch of the places that they had targets on, he's able to use his foresight on him. And he looked, found the right location, thank goodness. And now has a way, has a path that they can go through to get to air, where Ares at, according to the vision. And now that they've got that, they let Deku and the others know, yeah, it's time, come on. And they leave, and the police have a search warrant, which... <laughs> yeah, this... I've got a bad feeling this is not gonna go well. I am worried that we're gonna lose some pro heroes. I'm gonna wor I'm worried that something's gonna happen to one of the kids, one of the students, or... I'm just worried in general, to be completely honest. So now they're storming the base, and obviously the criminals aren't going down quietly. They're putting up a big fight, and now they're like, gonna try and find Aerie before they get away with her, because that's what they're, to, they're trying to do. They're trying to sneak out while his men keep them busy, so they can get away with Aerie and continue whatever they're doing. Oh boy. We will see how this goes, because, yeah, like I said, things have a potential to go bad. Very, very bad. Anyway, um, if you've gotten this far in the video, comment if you have. If you haven't, comment. If you haven't gotten this far, that's fine. But if you haven't already subscribed, feel free to do so. And if you like this show and you haven't been on the channel long, check out some of the other content because there might be another show you might be interested in. I've got sh I've got shown in like Dragon Ball, the Dragon Ball series. I've got my Hero Academia, which is superhero related. I've got a bunch of isekai on here if you guys are into that stuff. Like Overlord, Tamagot Reincarnated as a Slime, Rising of the Shield Hero, Konosuba. Uh, apparent I found out apparently Digimon and No Game No Life for isekai as well if you want to use that term. Huh. <laughs> Did not know that. <laughs> anyway, I will see everybody next time.